Hey guys, welcome back to Mambelo Zoo and um, today's episode is going to be a little bit different because we will be building life. Yes, I want to show you how I build, how I do it and I think it's uh, it doesn't hurt to mix it up a little bit. So uh, we get some a uh, little bit of a progress here on this building here. But that's not going to be for today. I actually want to create a functional sundial today. Yes, exactly. I already have prepared uh, this little fella, which uh, actually works. Yes, um, it's uh, 2 p.m. right now, as you can see. If I lower it one hour, it can show 1 p.m. It can show uh, 12 o'clock. But I'm... Um, I'm kind of thinking different design. So uh, let me show you this uh, little picture here. It is a sundial in Bl Melbourne, Australia. It's a part of a it's, it's an exhibit in a planetarium or something like that. So uh, I'm uh, going to try and uh, recreate this. Hopefully we can do it. Um, looks like fun, right? So uh, let's let's get onto it right away because I don't want this to drag forever. We will make ourselves some uh, space. We don't need this. Uh, what is this alert? Hey, go away. I don't care. Now, we already prepared a little space in here. I would like to somehow make it a uh, round shape around here. Uh, because we have sun on uh, this position. This is a 12 o'clock. Uh, we actually need to face away from the tortoise house. So. Uh, we need to start and do some round shape here so let's go walls columns and we will select a mud column which is perfect start for round shape um okay this should be fine and now how to do it <laughs> i'm thinking uh, art shapes how is this oh this is pretty big that should be enough so we have a position snap uh, turned on this way we can uh, align it perfectly to our mud column um, ta -ta -ta, we will turn on angle snap and uh, position it uh, right here and it should be enough of a round shape and we will make it a little bit tilted to get this uh, weird shape that actually I think it has let me go back yeah yes uh, yeah now it's the magic I will select both of those Control D to copy and uh, make an exact copy on the other side I will remove one of the columns I will do it once again this time I will make like a cross Again, I will remove the column, so I have just one, but we will leave it there because it's uh, exactly the middle of our rotation. I will select all of it except the column and uh, now the fun can start. So uh, we will go Ctrl X to get the, ang to get the rotation around I, uh, our directions. We will turn on angle snap and go as low as possible. 15 uh, degree okay and now we basically rotate it all around uh, the column as much as we can okay and now we want to have it mm -hmm, I'm thinking like these five is fine we will select these five uh, that will be our little uh, sundial structure we go yeah we have a color already prepared and this one we mark specifically white because that's the end this is a start point this is the end uh, maybe we go this one too with the white so uh, this way I know uh, how long I want it to be now let's do some more rotations okay uh, this time we turn off the angle snap and uh, yeah try to finish off the round shape one um, how does it look nope that's not it um, I'm really trying to be very precise here actually 
I want the back sides to touch perfectly as much as I can I don't want yeah I don't want this one more step just a tad bit okay now I'm now I'm happy let's do it once again but this time no we need to continue this way I'm thinking hopefully it will work out I can see we need three more yeah that's 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 fine I think we can work with with, with this um yeah that's fine all right so it's the last one here and then here oh that's way too way too much actually mm -hmm. um all right never mind let's just uh yeah let's just keep the last one here and last one here we can remove everything else basically i think right now we don't need a column either uh all we have left is this which is a good base for our sundial now i will remove one here one here one more maybe two more from each side okay this should be enough i'm thinking and uh yeah this is this is good how does this look hmm we need uh i think we need the edges a little bit different so uh what, what we are going to actually do okay once uh, once again because i need angle snap i want to rotate it perfectly around its axis horizontally now uh, let's uh, change the direction it faces and uh, a bit like this okay that, that, that could work I think okay now let's let's find the middle one which is it um, this one yeah that's the middle one that's the middle one so uh, let's change it to a uh, triangle I'm thinking uh, this one Maybe we can go. No, that's that's too much. This one is fine. And uh, let's look at the reference once more. And we need like a pointy forward and a little bit different in the back. Well, uh, mm -hmm -hmm. yeah, that's interesting. Let's uh, let's uh, see what we can do here. Uh, and uh, change it slightly, just just a bit slightly, so we can have this like the pointy pointy I uh, think right here yes one more for the road here uh, let's uh, rotate now we want the angle snap turned on so we can rotate fully yeah that's right uh, yes and uh, yeah I, I don't think we can make it mo more pointy in the f uh, front and that's because I actually discovered weird thing uh, the rectangles are different width than the triangles as you can see it's a little bit different which is really surprising and uh, pretty annoying actually because now I cannot use the rectangular shapes the rectangle and uh, the same applies to the uh, square so I need to stick with the triangles here which uh, is a bit unfortunate but whatever I mean we can do it yeah like this and then maybe we can even use one of those okay. no no need to stick to the uh, like the lesser ones okay this this one should be fine uh, I was a little bit too ambitious maybe in this shape ok 
okay now it's a little bit of a playing with the shapes Dun -dun -dun -dun. no let's start with this one so we have the same horizontal alignment yeah see it should work and we bring it uh, bring it a little bit back okay you know what we can we can have this little point um, okay how does it look like um, I like it I like it pretty much so let's uh, go with for the 12 o'clock and uh, we need to adjust the whole thing to point towards the Sun so uh, let's do it Mm -hmm. Okay, we start to give a uh, shadow in here. Now the shadow is gone and no shadow on this side. Or is it? It's leaving us. Starting to. Okay, so a little bit shadow will be present, I guess. But it's okay. I think right now we are positions. We are in the position towards the sun as we would like to have. Now, if it's 1 p.m., it's right there. Okay, 2 p.m., 3, 4, 5. Okay, the 5 is uh, it's not quite good because we are missing some part of the shadow. So we need to make it uh, like longer a little bit. Now what about the other side? So it's 11, 10, 9 and 8. Okay, we cannot get 8 over the mountain. So that's fine. So we just uh, need a little bit, little bit more pointed in the back. Okay, so I think we can just move this maybe a little bit. Um, not sure. Let's see. So, uh, okay, no, we won't copy like this. Does, does this work? Yeah, this works. Um, yeah, all of the work we did just doesn't make sense now. So can we like move it like this? A little bit, let's see it matches together okay yes it does so uh, let's grab this one and make one more uh, dang it okay sometimes grabbing those points is uh, really fun mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, finish it with uh, just a little touch okay this is this is good we have it guys we have it let's uh, let's mark some uh, some hours so uh, let's go for the 1 p.m. first and we are gonna make this line with the brackets I think what is happening I think brackets should work um, I want this one. Planet Zoo sign bracket. Let's position it perfectly. And uh, make some uh, sort of a line here. Which we are going to align with the shadow. Enter shadow. Yes. Uh, let's look at the image okay so the lines are from the top almost to the bottom and then there's the number okay so uh, let's start at the top you can even make it visible from the top that's fine and we do one more I don't see anything okay now where it is right there okay yes this is 1 p.m. perfectly and then we need a number we need a number so I'm thinking custom signs yes that's right and uh, nope no I, I don't want uh, it to, 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 to. okay let's try this one this one I think 
we might be somehow able to sunk it. Uh, can I like make it? Okay. I think we can sunk it down into the structure itself. So let's go for a black everything. I don't want any lightning. Nope. And uh, let's uh, try to sunk it down so we can. Um, let's tilt it a little bit. Sunk down. Shall we? Can we do it? Is it visible or? Okay, let's uh, bring it a little bit up. Whoa, it's working. See? Yes, I like this one. And now we can continue. Um, let's make another number and uh, another hour. So tilt it just slightly. Let's bring it up and uh, move it. Uh, no, that's yeah, that's that's correct. Um, I'm trying to follow the shadow rather closely, but it does not quite cooperate with me. Yeah, that that should be fine. Let's try to move the number as well and align it. Like it should be tilted, right? A little, just a little bit. I'm thinking this is going to be our two. Um, isn't it tilted too much? Yeah, I, I think it's tilted too much. Let's make a little change, just slightly. Um, as always. It is playing with uh, details. If you want it to, okay, look nice, you need to do it. Okay, so we have 1 p.m., 2 p.m., and uh, if we go for like 5, which is maximum, we don't even reach the end of this. So I think we can remove one or two from each side, like this. And I'm also thinking that we might need to make this uh, end a little bit more interesting. So uh, let's do just that. And uh, yeah, let's turn on the angle snap so we can have it the same on each side. So we will rotate just uh, 15 degrees and move it so, don't, so we don't see the pointy pointy corner and now mm -hmm, how to do it I think we need another of those uh, triangles do we okay the bigger one and once again we will probably want to stick to a yeah to an angle and uh, see it's different width a little bit, so I need to make like two of them actually to match the width of the rectangle. And that's that's unfortunate. Okay, now it looks better. Yes, it's like a bird or something, right? Maybe a plane. So we will do the same on the other side. We will make some more numbers and I'm thinking I will cut it here a little bit because this is boring and repetitive. So uh, see you in a uh, in a shortcut guys all right guys there we have it we have an uh, sundial from 9 to 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 great great and it still is let's see 61 total objects wow that's that's pretty good i even make a little bit uh, support structure in the bottom of it uh, maybe we will recolor to the black and uh, we will uh, start to do some of the supports yeah that's that's fine let's do some supports let's start with maybe this fella here and we want the girders where are they here's a girder Okay, this may be too long, but okay, this is too short. Um, let's position it. Uh, well, 
it actually doesn't really matter. I think we will do two supporting uh, two supporting structures. Um, one will be right where it will be end of. I'm thinking like here. Okay, yeah, that should be good. I don't want to. I don't want it to stick out on the front, so this is good. Let's copy and uh, do one here. Maybe does it stick out? Yes. So we push it to the bottom, and uh, let's. Uh, I think maybe we can do like a connection here. That's uh, that's that should be nice like this yes okay that's fine we can even uh, do a, a little bit of a brace anchor plate here I'm thinking can we do it let's see yes we can perfect one right here and uh, let's uh, turn it the other way as well okay it looks good now can I select it no okay let's select it and uh, press back twice we have it selected we can recolor to black oh it isn't pitch black it's the where is the second one okay and now that we have it we can select uh, all this stuff okay nope nope let's go to stone and uh, nope not this one I'm thinking temple stone like this I want it to uh, you know be on the stone that is well in yeah well in the ground and then do one more here but let's tilt it the other way um yeah this should be fine now let's uh, try again yes and uh, control x and we move it right here is it yeah that should be in the middle um yeah yes yes very good i like it it's done guys it is done and there you have it it's uh polished it's finished i've uh, done a little bit of a fancy stuff around it so uh, that it doesn't look so plain so we have uh this fence uh around uh, the sundial so that uh Vandals do not reach it. We even have a little bit of a, a door here so that uh, the mechanics can go in and fix it in uh, case of need. There's a little bit of a education stand with a sundial, some more education. Oh, I, uh, I should uh, <laughs> change this one to a uh, a uh, different education so how about ecotourism okay that's fine so the people can stop here learn something about it and here's a little cozy area for uh, some uh, some uh, rest and then uh, this is the back alley that is a viewing point for the turtles so uh, this is it uh, it's still work pretty much uh, very good and uh, shows the time and uh, then I can uh, like start to work on this uh, square or I don't know this this main area but I definitely do not uh, want to cover it with trees I cannot just do any trees around here because uh, I would get a shadow which I don't want yeah I need to make it clear so that the sundial can work you know it needs an access to the sun so this is perfect i mean i really like how it uh, turned out and uh, 
if you like it uh, as well just give me your like if you're not subscribed I would suggest you do so because uh, there's some uh, more stuff to come and uh, yeah let's enjoy a little bit of a cinematic and uh, have a good day fellas goodbye